Time to play with some clay. All right, I've got the uh, leggings to do now. I can't add fringe uh, without having the leggings at least started or at least done. And so that's what I've got to do today is work on that. And I just put my light on my clay, so it's going to take a while for it to get warm enough to really work. But I'll go ahead and do with what I got right now. All right, I got a book here by Thomas E. Mails called Mystic Warriors of the Plains. And I'm gonna do a little searching in here for leggings. I mean, if you wanna get a book that covers everything, uh, he has a set of books uh, that covers their religions of the different tribes, uh, the making of shields and the type of shields. And uh, even the type of saddles they would have worn, used, and how they would have tied the reins of the horse, like on that. I got some markings here. Okay, here we go. Now. Okay, these are crow, so I'm not going to be looking at those. And these are late make leggings from 1860 or 70, which would be a time period. But uh, it's crow, Kiowa, Comanche, and Sioux Quilled. I think that's what this one is here. Yeah. No, it's this one here. Trade cloth, dark blue. It belonged to Sitting Bull. This is Plains Indian. This is Crow. And uh, 
This is Sioux, sort of 1800 to 1845. So I, I wouldn't be looking at something like that. That's too early in the century. This shows how they made a uh, one piece of skin legging. But that would be early. So I'd I be don't more... think Crazy Horse was really flamboyant. I don't know if he used a lot of beadwork on his clothing or not. Probably more like this pair of leggings here. This is a Sioux warrior wearing breech cloth and leggings. I know it looks really rough right now, but it'll get smoothed out, evened out, reduced down a little. I'm just kind of blocking in wrinkles. Leather that's been stretched over time from uh, rain and all kinds of weather. I put a little fringe on the bottom of the cuff because that's what it showed in that uh, illustration. And I think it's a good way to end the end, the bottom part of a I'm doing leggings that were slept in, sat in, worn in all kinds of weather. And so much so that they became comfortable. All right, I don't know how much of this detail I'm going to be able to leave in here because that would be some incredible cleaning by the boundary. I'm going to see what uh, this lighter fluid does to the clay, this monster clay, and see if it maybe blends it a little bit. Sorry I didn't show you what I was doing because um, the battery was going dead on my GoPro and I just need to finish out the video today. I mean this monster clay going through the pasta machine comes out incredibly well detail wise. But uh, it may be too much. I'll try painting it tomorrow and see how it comes out. Yeah, it does seem to be blending it a little bit. Not a lot. I don't want all the detail gone, but it still has to be cast. All right, good night, everybody. See you next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.